Welcome to How to Use PowerPoint Ribbon Menu, part of the Power Up Training Jumpstart series to better understand the fundamentals of Microsoft Office. Hi, this is Les McCarter from Power Up Training, where my decades of experience becomes your expertise for free. In this all about the Office Ribbon Menu, we'll cover the following components. While we'll be working in the latest version of Office 365, the concepts are true going back to Office 2013. So let's power up. All of the Office programs uses this similar menuing system, except for Microsoft Outlook, which is its own beast. You can run everything about PowerPoint from the Office tab ribbon that is found at the top of your screen. If it's not showing, then look at the top right corner of PowerPoint for the small up arrow in a box. Click and select Show Tabs and Commands. Within the ribbon menu are the specific tool tabs. Each tab is a collection of related commands shown as icons. Click on different tabs for different action icons. It is helpful to know that the most commonly used tab menus are located on the left. And as you move to the right, they are used not as frequently. As I explained earlier, each tab menu groups similar action icons together with the most commonly used tab menus located on the left. The home tab has the most common commands grouped together. These collections change as you select different tabs. So the tab menus bring together related action icons. They are further grouped together in a concept called, not surprisingly, groups. See the font group with all the related font enhancements in one location to work from? There is one tab menu that works differently than the others, the file tab menu. Instead of showing individual action icons, it shows an integrated set of commands and location screens for saving, renaming, and opening files. Just as there are special tabs, there are also special group styles inside of the tab menus. One type is called the In Ribbon Gallery that shows up on several menus. They are not technically action icons, but instead a gallery of design choices that makes it easier to preview different looks. These will be found in the design, transition, and animation tab menus. Microsoft does a great job of exposing the most common action icon commands via the ribbon menu system, but there are more advanced commands that don't quite fit on the ribbon. To get access to these commands, you need to locate the appropriate related group, then click the down arrow dialog box launcher to expand out the additional commands. Here's an example of expanding out the font group to see more formatting choices. For my more eagle-eyed viewers, you may have seen some mysterious menus come and go. These are specialized contextual tab menus. They show up only when you select a specific type of element on your slide, such as the graph menus. And this is great. Why distract you with a graph menu if you're not working on graphs in this particular PowerPoint presentation? Instead, click on the item and the related contextual menu pops up. Let me demonstrate how different contextual menus pop up with new command icons based on the object selected. I'm gonna work by clicking on a photo and we'll see the picture format menu appear with all the related commands. Now let's switch from the picture to the chart. And when I click on the chart, I get, whoa, I get two different kinds of commands, a chart design, which gives me some choices where I can use my in ribbon gallery to look at different formats and how they look on the screen. And then a separate menu choice called format that lets me get into some very specific items that are related only to charts. If I go ahead and click on tables, I'm going to see that I also now have additional table specific design action icons and a layout set of choices here too. With that, we've just covered all you need to know about the PowerPoint ribbon menu. Your next steps, 
please subscribe to our Power Up Training YouTube channel. It helps support our program greatly. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up ratings encourages me to make more free videos for you. Got questions or requests for new training videos? Leave them in the comments below. And check out our website or our YouTube channel for more Microsoft Office training videos. Until then, go power up.